welcome to your reading. I'm going to be doing two spreads today. First is a general spread regarding like career and manifestation, stuff like that. Then I'm going to go into a love reading right after. All right, so let's clear the energy, clear the space. My pure alchemy smudge mist, 24 karat gold and crystal infused smudge spray with 100% pure lavender and sage essential oil. If you want to check it out, there's a link below. And let's get into this. I'm going to start off with um, some archangel messages here regarding manifestation and law of attraction. And if you are on the Divine Union slash Twin Flame journey, I just posted an amazing reading regarding Divine Union. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And if you're called to do so, go check that out. All right. Thank you, Team and Spirit of the Highest Divine Resonance of the Pure White Light. What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective at this time? Beautiful. So we have a vulnerability. Okay, vulnerability. All right. So where have you been vulnerable lately? Who have you been vulnerable with? Or where do you need to be more vulnerable? Hmm. We're going to find out. <laughs> we have authenticity. Beautiful. So I'm hearing that many of you are standing in your authentic truth, you know, being who you truly are, saying how you truly feel, and you got the Law of Attraction card. And for those of you who watch my readings, you know that I love receiving, receiving this card because this is indicative of your manifestations coming to fruition, like very soon or like literally as we speak even. Wow, that's amazing. What other messages can we get for the Cancer Collective at this time regarding manifestation, career, and abundance? There we go. We have the Divine Mother card. So we have Divine Feminine Energy at this time here in this reading which is absolutely beautiful also indicative of divine guidance and i love it i love it i love it let's get one more card i'm hearing that your manifestations are divinely protected and guided um which is beautiful of course Just I'm hearing keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people at this time um, and avoid negative negativity, negative people, negative situations so that you can attract more positivity and manifestations into your life. And guess what? Your blocks have lifted at this time, which is beautiful. So any previous obstacles that came from fear are now being lifted away as we speak. And with these blockages being lifted and cleared away, your manifestations are coming to fruition. This is what allows these manifestations to come through, which is absolutely amazing. Now let's get some messages, uh, spiritual messages regarding, oh, <laughs> this happened in another reading. I can't remember which one it was. It might've been, um, It was in Aries. It was the reading after Aries, I think. Which one was that? I have to know, sorry. Give me one sec. Because this is amazing. You might have to go check out that reading. Because the same exact thing happened. I think it was, Scorp it was Scorpio. So, I went to shuffle this deck and there's a random card from a different deck in it. The same exact thing happened to Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, go watch the Scorpio reading. Um, <laughs> the, the most recent one I posted. I think I'm wearing the same shirt. But, oh my goodness. So this card is grounding. So 
you are very grounded at this time and that's amazing or this may be indicative of needing to go out into nature but this is absolutely awesome so even if you don't have scorpio in your chart i'm hearing to go check out that video because there um, is probably a message in there for you to hear because this exact same thing happened <laughs> it's pretty random oh my goodness okay actually i'm gonna keep grab that card out in this reading perfect okay so let's <laughs> oh all right we have council of light coming out for you at this time so divine orchestration helpers in subtle realms once again you are divinely guided at this time which is absolutely amazing and these manifestations are divinely orchestrated so it's just like setting your intention and uh, placing your order for the universe and just allowing them to deliver like as they should within divine timing right that's beautiful now let's clarify vulnerability boundaries where do you need to set better boundaries so i'm hearing a number of you need to be vulnerable with your um with your feelings and your boundaries so you need to set better boundaries a number of you um, are doing so at this time within either a work situation within a uh, relationship whether that is romantic or platonic um, i'm hearing really strongly at this time someone's workplace trying to force them to go to work but um for some uh circumstance in particular they're not able to but there's some type of um, conflict behind that. That's not for everyone, but that's probably for someone out there. So I had to deliver that message. So we have the star seed card here. What lights you up? So if you're watching this video, you are most likely a star seed, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're into that stuff, that's pretty super cool to get this card in that reading. Um, I certainly am. And you, this is indicative of having that guidance, that guidance, otherworldly guidance, other realms, angelic beings, um, star races, right? That is amazing. So that's coming out underneath authenticity. So I'm hearing that a number of you... Um, are standing in your authentic truth and being open about your starseed origin and lineage at this time which is beautiful and no longer um, being afraid to show who you truly are it's almost like coming out of the spiritual closet so to speak is what uh, we like to say um, let's clarify the law of attraction here for the cancer collective at this time Thank you, Team Spirit of the Highest Divine Resonance of Pure White Light. What messages do you have for Cancer? Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So, there may be someone in your life, whether it is a romantic relationship, whether it is a platonic relationship, whether it is a work situation, um, where they are triggering you at this time. But I'm hearing that these triggers... Um, they are destined to happen because they help us heal deep-rooted traumas within us that are being mirrored to us through other people, if that makes sense to you. I'm trying to explain it the best that I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so essentially, sometimes when we have triggers from others that, you know, situations, conflicts, what have you, um, there's a deeply rooted trauma behind them within ourselves that we must heal. May that even be from a past life where we're not even aware of it, right? Like, for example, if um, someone can't wear turtlenecks and they're afraid of wearing a turtle, like they can't feel like they can't breathe. I heard about this. Someone told me a story like this. Um, where there was a there's a woman who she can't wear necklaces or turtlenecks because in a past life she had a traumatic event where something about her breathing like she couldn't breathe this is an example this this isn't for everyone but this is an example it might be for someone i don't know it's coming through we're channeling here but 
that's an example of a past life trauma or even say in a past life um, a lot of relationship issues happen because of past life traumas like for example if you are married to someone in your past life and they did something horrible to you there are deep-rooted issues and traumas that come through because of that it could also be from um, childhood right so pay attention to these triggers at this time that's not for all of you but it's for many of you because we all go we all have triggers um, it's coming out under yeah blocks lifted so I feel as though you're healing these triggers at this time and these were the blocks that have been lifted and so let's clarify law of attraction though, because now that these blocks are lifted and now that you're in this healing mode of healing these triggers cutting cords and all that let's clarify law of attraction because now your abundance can come in your manifestations beautiful we have another divine feminine card here okay so seeding the light laying foundations divine plan beautiful so your manifestations are definitely coming to fruition you are laying foundations at this time there is a divine plan for everything and everything happens within divine timing is essentially what i'm hearing so that's beautiful let's clarify grounding here let's get a card for grounding whoa okay so that one really flew out and look what we received lemuria okay I've got my Lemurian laser wand here. So creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So a lot of the times things are broken down to be rebuilt. That's what I'm hearing strongly. So remain grounded. Stay grounded. Get grounded. Because everything is happening for a reason and within divine timing is what I'm hearing strongly at this time. Whatever that means, this is a general reading. Um, this is a timeless reading. I'm beckoned to mention that whenever you're watching this video, it's the right time for you. All of my readings are timeless. Um, oh, I have to also mention this is for can uh, cancers with cancer anywhere in their birth chart. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, at this time, uh, this is a timeless reading, but I'm, I have to mention the pandemic happening. Um, so because this Lemuria card came out for grand grounding, I believe there is a message here for the collective at this time that, um, everything does happen for a reason. And this is the global awakening happening at this time. Stay grounded, stay positive keep taking care of yourself and sending love and light to all at this time much love much love much light and so it is okay let's get some tarot going okay thank you team spirit of the highest divine resonance pure white light Let's clarify vulnerability and boundaries. What do we need to know about boundaries and vulnerability? And being vulnerable, setting boundaries, what do we need to know? Yes, so temperance in reverse. So divine timing, trust divine timing. Many of you um, haven't been patient with whatever you're dealing with at this time, but just trust and know that divine timing is here and i feel as though being vulnerable and expressing your vulnerable feelings in this situation and setting these boundaries will um, yield more energy and healing deep healing has to take place right so once you're able to be vulnerable with your feelings and express yourself and express these bound boundaries this massive deep healing will come to fruition okay so we do have Ten of Cups and Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, this is coming out for Authenticity and Starseed. So, I'm hearing that 
the blockages that were created were due to not wanting to show who you truly are or not or not um, wow okay let me get this message through first before I read these cards someone is not in a job situation or career that is authentic to who they truly are and their life purpose and soul mission like for example if this is a random example but it could be resonant for someone out there because it's coming up for star seed and authenticity so for example say you're vegan but you work at a butcher shop right you get what i'm trying to say or say you someone knows who they truly are at a core essence they know they're a light being they know that they are connected and limitless and boundless an infinite being right but they choose to not see that and they choose to focus on the dark side of things or even just um I don't know. That's for someone. That's not for everyone. So bear with me here because I know it's not for everyone. But these messages have to come out. But these blocks are lifted, right? It says blocks are lifted. So within this ground, I know it's a crazy time at this time, but like continue to stay grounded and focus on healing because now we can get into these two cards here. We have judgment and the world. So there is a completion of a cycle taking place and a judgment call is being made at this time. And for these two cards to come up together is absolutely amazing because I feel as though this is more so um, people in the collective waking up to who they truly are and the power and the light that they truly possess at this time and hold within their core being, right? That's what I'm feeling at this time. And that's absolutely beautiful. Now, let's see what other information we can receive. We have a King of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. And that is indicative of uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. But that is definitely your energy, Cancer. Um, this, uh, the King of Cups is uh, emotionally secure, emotionally stable. Um, a very loving king, an ideal suitor. This is a general reading, but definitely, I since the King of Cups is showing up, I feel as though these blocks are lifted because you are healing at this time and you are being authentic and true to who you truly are within the world at this time. Because I know things can get crazy and I know it's hard to truly shine your light in a place that is so dark and cold sometimes um, but keep being you, keep being authentic in who you truly are because judgment is here and the world is here the world is yours these blocks are lifted stay grounded let's get some information blocks that are lifted at this time I think we kind of already got that information but I want to see what else will come out oh goodness that's too many <laughs> energy is just wild today I'll tell you okay yeah so I'm going to shuffle this again properly Thank you, team and spirit of the highest divine resonance of the pure white light. What message do you have for cancer at this time regarding manifestation, career, abundance? I 
have the sun. There we go. Beautiful healing, blessings, the truth coming out. That's amazing. Judgment, the sun, and the world. Like, this is absolutely beautiful. I love it, honestly. This is beautiful. This is a very good sign. So, you are all healing at this time, definitely. And the sun is here for you to deliver these blessings as a completion of a cycle takes place. Now let's get some more information for cancer at this time. That's a lot. Oh my goodness. It keeps happening. <laughs> Energy's crazy. Wow, you guys must have a lot going on. Well, you have Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's an amazing sign. So we have abundance coming in for you. You are divinely guided. Never forget. You have Five of Cups here, upright. Page of Cups. Coming in, um, emotions, someone is maybe ready to express their emotions, right? Because we have here, um, remember the vulnerability and authenticity and the boundaries. So now someone is ready to authentically express their emotions with this page of cups here open communication but there is success here for you once you do so dear cancer that is what i'm hearing strongly with this sun here and the world especially in judgment this judgment is you making the judgment call to do so there we go a clear and concise card coming through yeah, there was some type of deception possibly in the past regarding whatever the situation is because we have the seven of swords here upright. We also have four of wands in reverse. So some type of stability um, was not present due to this uh, deception, whether it's in a workplace, within a relationship, platonic or romantic, um, some type of trickery maybe maybe someone lied but now someone is ready to come forward to express their truth and once they do so the completion of a cycle comes through blocks are lifted and manifestation comes to fruition so someone has something to say to someone whether this is you or who you're dealing with but the truth will be told so we're gonna go into the love reading next and we can see if this energy shows up in the love reading then we'll know if it's particularly for a love situation um, i'm gonna grab chakra pose oracle card here just to kind of see what tops off this energy but if this isn't this could be in a general sense this could be work this could be career this could be business it could be anything but we're going to do a love reading to see what comes out for the love and then we'll know exactly what it's for because it's also general reading right so many people watching these videos um, but always heed your intuition trust your intuition your intuition is your divine guidance but there's some truth being told yet there was some type of confusion, um, but it came up in reverse. So there's someone is coming out of confusion and they're ready to speak their truth and be vulnerable about their feelings and authentically speaking what they need to say. And maybe some boundaries are going to be set in this process. So I'm hearing, yep, time to go into the love reading. <laughs> All right, so here we go. 
Hi, Cancer. All right, so let's get into your love reading here. Let's clear the energy once more. Pure alchemy. Transmuting those vibes. Transmuting those vibes. All right. If you hear any noise in the background, I do apologize. I live with uh, roommates, so they're pretty noisy sometimes. <laughs> I apologize, but I'm sure many of you know how that is. Just very grateful to be here with you at this time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your comments. We're going to start off with the Divine Union deck here. Let's get some information on the energies at play at this time for the Cancer Collective regarding love. What information is there for Cancer at this time regarding love? All right. Wow. So grounding came out once again and I shuffled this deck. And you remember from the first spread, this was that random mystery card that was in another deck randomly. So some major grounding has to take place. This is also indicative of possibly um, a continuation of that first spread. So we also have rose quartz, which is the stone of healing and unconditional love, healing of the heart chakra, um, self-love even. All right, what else can we receive, dear spirit of the highest divine resonance? This is a, there's a lot here, but I'm going to take a look at them. All right, we're taking these. I'm here and go ahead and taking them. We have 333 here, a beautiful angel number, and this is a divine code. Um, 333 holds a specific vibration to it as the universe converses to us with um, code, right? So because frequencies and vibrations have a specific vibration to them, like a specific energy, a specific meaning, um, 333 in particular is indicative of the ascended masters guiding you and connecting with you and your life purpose as well as your soul mission at this time. I'm hearing a number of you are seeing 333 a lot, um, as synchronicities. So pay attention because um, you also have pay attention to your dreams, right? And you also have infinity. Okay, so pay attention when you're seeing the number 333 or um, even 33 or 3. What are you doing at that time? Who are you talking to? What are you thinking about? What are you saying? Because you'll find answers as to what the universe is trying to tell you. Because this is a sign from the universe. Because the universe speaks to us in code, in numbers, in um, symbolism, in omens, right? And this is leading into the pay attention to your dreams. So I'm hearing a number of you are having very vivid dreams at this time. Um, a number of you are lucid dreaming. If you are able to remember your dreams when you wake up, I highly suggest writing in a dream journal and writing down what it is that you remember from your dreams because this is spirit once more conversing with you, trying to show you something, giving you signs, synchronicities to help you with your waking life, right? And um, yeah, that's actually, that's amazing. These are amazing cards to receive and infinity is indicative of infinite abundance. Um, it's um, a reminder of being an infinite being. We are all infinite beings here, um, which is absolutely amazing. Now we need more information. We have yes at the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who have asked a question, your answer is yes. Also a confirmation of everything that is being said at this time, as these messages are channeled to you at this time, dear Cancer. Now, what other information can we receive at this time for the Cancer Collective regarding love? Beautiful. So alchemy, transmuting negatives into positives. Beautiful. So that this is that deep healing on a cellular level at this time, an emotional level, a spiritual level, that alchemical marriage between the divine masculine, the divine feminine, which is absolutely beautiful. 
transmuting negatives into positives and healing because you have detox as well so a number of you are really paying attention to your health at this time um, really working on um, drinking more water meditating more because um, detox doesn't only mean a detox like eating better which is actually amazing like i'm hearing a number of you are doing that you're changing your diet to be more of like a plant-based diet or just more uh, health conscious at this time but it's also a spiritual detox and a mental detox you're removing yourself from people places situations that no longer serve you at this time um, you are watching uh, you're paying attention to what you're watching and what you're listening to detoxing from anything negative essentially that's beautiful so let's get a couple more messages and then we'll get into the tarot thank you teen spirit of the divine resonance and pure white light what message do you have here for cancer at this time regarding love so there is deep healing at this time um, which is beautiful so this may have something to do with the first spread um, maybe there was a falling out with a soulmate oh we have divine timing popping through here once again trust divine timing Within divine timing, that truth will be told. You will receive all of the answers that you are looking for. But trust and know that the universe has your back and you're never alone. You are divinely guided. We're getting unconditional love. So you have two unconditional love cards here. Rose quartz and unconditional love. So... This situation that you're dealing with involves someone having to practice unconditional love. Maybe you have unconditional love for someone at this time. Okay. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have birth. So there's the birth of something beautiful about to take place, which is amazing. And then we have 444 once again. So I'm going to take these two cards. 444 is Angelic Guidance. So I'm also going to take um, some Omen cards here. And we're going to see what Omens are of significance at this time for you, dear Cancer. You may come across this Omen um, in your waking state. You may come across this Omen when you sleep. Right? So we're going to take a look and see... Which one comes out? Oh, wow. So you have cat. Okay, so cats represent curiosity, magic, sensuality, desire for freedom and independence, right? Um, they are very independent spirits. They uh, represent fem feminine sexuality. So this divine feminine energy here with this card. They also represent creativity and power. So a number of you may have a cat. Um, that is of significance to you or there may be a cat like an omen of a cat like maybe there's you come across a random cat or there maybe there's like a random cat that always comes to your house so really tune in into your intuition and see what the significance of this cat means to you um, but the cat definitely represents many different um, meanings right the creativity the power but it's also divine feminine as well but cats are highly spiritual beings they are actually one of the animals that live both in the spirit world and in the physical realm so that's actually amazing very interesting okay so let's get the tarot out and find out some more information here now let's go into Let's clarify un unconditional love. What's this unconditional love? Page of Cups, wow, see? Expressing, someone's expressing unconditional love to someone at this time. Expressing their emotions, being vulnerable, open to communicate about their emotions. That's beautiful. So we got that page in the first reading, I believe, right? And the first reading was about someone needing to be vulnerable and expressing their truth, right? 
Oh, sorry about that. Um, so I think this is a continuation of that first reading. This is an extended. Ooh. All right, so let's see what happens because this is interesting now. So someone is ready and open to express their emotions. Now let us uh, clarify detox. Or what other information is there at this time that we need to know about? Exactly. Wow. Five of Swords in reverse. So you are detoxing from people that no longer serve you at this time. You're you're eluding, like getting away from negative people, negative thoughts. Um, you're you're getting away from any confrontation that is unnecessary. Detoxing yourself from, you know, like negativity in general, even mental conflict, right? So a number of you that are doing your meditations, you're working on, you know, silencing the mind and like relieving all stress and anxieties. But this could literally or mean detoxing from people that just don't serve your purpose, right? What about this alchemy? What information can we get for alchemy? For cancer at this time. Okay, wow. So you're getting the world once again. So this is a definite continuation of that first spread. So completing a cycle, transmuting negatives into positives, which is actually amazing. This is beautiful. This is wow. Literally, like you're completing a major cycle right now in your life. Like you've got this. You got a hold of this. You're in control of this. Like wow. I'm very proud of you, Cancer. That's beautiful judgment once again and honestly i shuffled this deck really well before i came back on camera this is amazing so there is a judgment to be made here whoa let's clarify this infinity card oh <gasps> wow ace of swords there is definite communication coming through someone is speaking their truth someone is speaking their emotional truth and once they do that a cycle is complete for a beautiful beginning to take place. Wow. Okay, so let's move this stuff over for a sec. Make some room for all these beautiful cards. Okay, so let's clarify. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Wow. So Infinity, getting this Ace of Swords, tells me that This might be a past life connection, right? It also is indicative of a cycle. So definitely a cycle is completing for a new one to begin, which is beautiful. Once this truth is spoken. Whoa. All right. So we have Queen of Pentacles. Okay, a very stable divine feminine. And we have the lovers as well, which is beautiful. So... All right. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles could be masculine or feminine. It doesn't matter. If I was doing a Divine Union read specifically for Divine Union, this would be a Divine Feminine card to me, but it could go either way. It doesn't have to be male or female, right? Like, a male could be a Queen of Pentacles, right? We both have masculine and feminine energy. But pay attention to your dreams. You may be receiving information about this person in your dreams. And this connection, because it's coming out for clarifying, pay attention to your dreams. You may even be seeing this person in your dreams. Or vice versa, right? And then the lovers comes out under 333, Ascended Masters, Life Purpose, Soul Mission. So this, this um, relationship, this union is divinely guided so it is quite possibly a divine union read right which is absolutely beautiful but it's divinely guided and it's protected and it is your life purpose and soul mission to connect with this person which is beautiful so rose quartz let's get some clarity on rose quartz let's clarify that one what does cancer need to know whoa okay so i'm gonna take the one that's upright and put the rest away i'll take a look just to see what they are okay yeah 
If they're meant to come back out, they'll come back out. But we have six of pentacles here. Okay, so this is... Uh, coming out under the rose quartz card tells me that... Maybe you are showing love to others, like whether that's in a charitable sense, you know, giving time to others, showing others love. It's a very stable card. Sixes are very stable. There's stability here, maybe. There's stability within this relationship coming through. Oh, wow, definitely. Because we have Ten of Pentacles here. Sorry about that, my phone camera cut out. But yeah, so we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is beautiful. This is abundance, this is stability, this is grounding. And it came out underneath grounding. So I mean, that's absolutely amazing. I am super happy for you because there seems to be some type of truth coming in um, because you're eluding some type of conflict and going within to really heal and detox. Um, someone's coming in to express their emotional truth unconditionally. Um, so pay attention to your dreams because you might see this person in your dreams. You might receive this message from them in your dreams. It may even happen in waking state in the physical realm. But there is a, um, there is a soulmate relationship here that seems to be coming through so this is a soulmate that's coming in to express their emotional truth but let's clarify 444 angelic guidance what information do we have for cancer at this time regarding the spread 444 there we go two of pentacles in reverse so there was a decision that had to be made, right? And um, when the Two of Pentacles is upright, that means there's like um, trying to balance two things or trying to or having to make a choice between two things. Now, because it's Pentacles, it could be that the person you are connecting with was so focused on their work, and they had to choose between work-life balance and love, right? And this actually came through in the Divine Union video that I just uploaded. So definitely go check out the Divine Union Twin Flame video because you're definitely going to find some information in that video. Um, same messages are kind of coming through, but this person kind of was confused and they, you know, they didn't really see the connection or the value in the connection or in you um, or vice versa, right? But since it's in reverse that means there is a decision that is made and it is divinely guided so let's find out more information shall we because i'm interested to know and yes this person you know seeking answers seeking the truth seeking knowledge so probably when you both are in separation and kind of like working on healing yourselves detoxing and like grounding yourself and just really focusing on self-love that's when this person and uh, came to realize the true value of this connection and the reason why I I'm saying I'm hearing like a work um, love balance is because the queen of pentacles is here and the pentacles talk about you know stability they talk about someone who really focuses on their career and finances. And these are also the two of pentacles. It's also pentacles, right? So I don't think it's a choice between two people. I think it's a, it was weighing work-life balance with a love life. And you have temperance here, which also speaks of balance and healing and divine timing. So that's coming out under birth. So trust divine timing. Just trust and know that everything is always working out for you within divine timing. So continue to focus on healing yourself. Continue to focus on, you know, um, if you have a business, continue to work on your business. Continue to create art if you create art. Continue to work out and take care of your health. Because within divine timing, 
someone is here to speak their truth of you know, love like their emotional truth and this is a soulmate connection this is a past life connection and it's true love it's the lovers so let's get a clar uh, clarifier for this cat card this cat omen what can we learn about the cat what can we learn about the cat? Thank you, Team and Spirit of the Highest Divine Resonance of the Pure White Light. What message do you have in regards to cat? Oops. You may be adopting a cat. Wow! So, okay, there's Seven of Pentacles, but there is also Ace of Cups. This is true love, emotional fulfillment. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is beautiful. So, this is true love. Someone's coming in to speak their truth of true love. Oh, and you have judgment once more at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, that's beautiful. Judgment is coming. Someone is coming to speak their truth. And it just landed, I just threw the card, it landed on top of this Queen of Pentacles. So, whoever this is, they're coming to speak the truth. They're coming to tell you how they truly feel. They might not have been aware of it or were confused before. They might have had fear. Of commitment but they're they're ready to come speak their truth now <gasps> oh beautiful so we have a king of swords we have a king of swords and a queen of pentacles <gasps> so we have a divine masculine and divine feminine energy on this table this is absolutely beautiful you also have king and queen of wands here <gasps> this is definitely a divine union coming to fruition here which is amazing judgment and nine of cups wish fulfillment so this union is coming this partnership is coming into union someone has healed their heart they are coming forward to speak their truth of love with justice at the bottom of the deck justice is being served for you at this time cancer this is absolutely beautiful whether this is you or them spirit is telling me if this is you that needs to speak your emotional truth um it's safe to do that and if this is your person that needs to do so they're doing it they're coming in just be patient stay grounded trust and know that within divine timing this comes to fruition definitely a hundred percent there is no other way that I'm seeing this. So this definitely links back to the first spread. It's a continuation, right? Oh, beautiful. Wheel of Fortune once more. Definitely go check out the Divine Union um, reading that I just posted. Super important at this time. This is a Divine Union. This is beautiful. Wheel of Fortune, the wheel spins in your favor. This is also divine timing. This is also destiny. This is luck. This is fortune. This is beautiful. <laughs> like, wow. Someone is coming to speak their emotional truth, to express how they truly feel. Um, and it's looking like a divine union, divine partnership, cycle about to begin of love this is super amazing like can't make this stuff up i'm so happy wow okay so what i'm gonna do is pull out some chakra wisdom oracle cards and then we'll get some positive affirmations out for you thank you team and spirit of the highest divine resonance of the pure white light what messages do you have for cancer at this time regarding this love Someone's coming to speak their truth. Someone's heart chakra and throat chakra are healed. Yes. So vanity came out, but it came out in reverse. So someone um, definitely didn't really see the true value of this connection in the past. 
they were probably too focused on themselves. They were maybe being selfish. I don't like to use the word narcissist at all because I don't like to throw that stuff around. But maybe you were dealing with someone like that in the past, but they realized that that's not the way to be. They are coming out of it. And blue is also indicative of the throat chakra. So someone may be... Um, in the past that you're dealing with they thought they were too like how do I say this um, they were probably taught to not express their emotions like for example if they're a man um, they were told that it's not manly to express your emotions or something like that or thinking like they're too good to express their emotions or maybe they were afraid to but they're coming out of that and they're here to express how they feel about you which is beautiful. And you have prayer at the bottom of the deck. So this is divinely guided. Beautiful. Of course it is. It always is. Now let's get a positive affirmation for you at this time. Before we close it out. Thank you, human spirit of the highest divine resonance of the pure white light. Thank you. Thank you. Rising above. You're rising above the situation. I see only beauty and grace. And because of your unconditional love, you chose to only see the beauty and grace within this divine partnership. And that is what allowed you to rise above through alchemy, transmuting negatives into positive and trusting and knowing that within divine timing, this partnership would take place because it is, there is the birth of a beautiful, beautiful, abundant new beginning here for you at this time wish fulfillment with a divine union taking place i'm so happy for you cancer thank you so much for being here with me i'm so grateful for you thank you for your likes your shares your comments and your subscriptions and i look forward to the next video bye